So you're given a 2D contract to install a three-dimensional rail. Not only do you need it as built where your shims were installed, um, you have to confirm that the, the concrete they're installed in is in the right spot. This is incredibly easy to actually update and get the three-dimensional measurements uh, from the field back to an easy, very inexpensive program like SketchUp uh, to do uh, fabrication drawings uh, that will, when you finish fabricating, ship them out, will fit. So here you can actually see where those shim locations are uh, from the panorama picture of the scan. Um, scan data is actually going to collect millions of points in uh, a couple minutes. Here are about six scans, about three minutes apiece. Uh, so taking a little less than 20 minutes to collect. And uh, we actually tied these in to uh, the PDF that was already existing. So if there were good markings of where the shim should be, I could see them. Um, there weren't. So we're kind of as building those locations to make sure they are put in the right spot. Now, not only is 3D laser scanning still gonna allow me to essentially design, um, I'd say in 2D if I, if I want to, but it's also gonna give me all those 3D measurements from the field so I don't need to uh, drive back out there if I forgot something. Like in this case, we were actually told um, that the subfloor here and if you look at the, the elevation view here, this is actually telling you the subfloor is about two inches lower than finished floor height. So they're either putting in a lot of filler material or, or uh, the finished floor height mark out on site was incorrect. And we can use other, essentially other data points to help correct this. So if the handrail height matters and needs to match between indoors and outdoors, um, we can essentially alleviate that and have that discussion with the general contractor before we actually go into fabrication. So, this is what the scan data kind of looks like from the back end. Um, change this a little bit. Uh, you can see all those points are there. Um, and then what we're able to do is export this data directly to SketchUp. So I can send the entire scan data or I could look at um, just one portion of it, like uh, this shims area, with the full detail extraction and export that uh, as a TDX E57 or RCP if I was going to Autodesk. SketchUp, because it is uh, a Trimble product as well as Trimble Field Link, like the tablet software you see here in the scanner, will accept pretty much all of these. So we'll do an E57 non structured. As we've already prepped that, you can um, see it here. This is kind of what it looks like, right? I can bring in any different type of scan data. And then we have some already pre made um, to design shims and what I can do then is actually start to use uh, the scan data to place these as built locations. Now the reason for doing this is I want to make sure that if I can tie these uh, shims into the right spot um, and I'm actually interacting with the scan data right now I'll actually turn that off so I can it's a little smooth smoother um, start to place it. What I can do is if I can place these precisely to where where they actually are in real life um, like you see here, we have a couple missing. I can then as built, um, or sorry, design where the handrails will actually sit because it's just a little bit easier to tie into uh, existing model geometry than using that point cloud. So that's why we're, we're kind of as building these as a model here. So we'll line that up, uh, care about which uh, orientation we're in, and then essentially do it in all three axes. So then I know when I'm actually going to um, design the rail, uh, it'll fit in. So there you can see the shims being modeled in um, and then designing in those new handrails where I can get dimensioning and I can actually export uh, these, even though it's 3D, um, these 3D drawings as a 2D PDF for the, the fab guys as well here in SketchUp. You could use actually pretty much any type of uh, LiDAR sensor, uh, your iPhone to scan, uh, but what Field link and the X series scanners are going to allow you to do or register those all together and get accurate as built. You can actually see 
some of the um, different measurements that you get, uh, essentially the, the range measurement there and kind of some of the spray you'd get um, is going to be very precise and very high accuracy um, for level. So really you can only fabricate with like a terrestrial scanner, although like your iPhone could capture a, a good room measurement, right? Um, but this is what's gonna allow you to essentially design this and then um, design in the new handrails that you're gonna fabricate and then share with others what that looks like. So here, this is actually on Trimble Connect, uh, our uh, CD or common data environment platform where you can share uh, the scan data as a DXF, the PDF, and then those um, some portion of that, uh, what we would look at and see is the DWG here, um, which is highlighted. So you can start to take measurements the same way there um, and relay to the team in the shop and in the field. Uh, the really nice thing with this is because you've collected the scan data, you don't need another trip to the field unless there's another handrail where more shims are going up that you need to as built right so there are still sequences to construction progress or projects um you may need to scan a couple of times um if that's just j just the workflow of it so um yeah thanks and please reach out to your nearest building point representative uh to see this live on your site and discuss how scanning can reduce your field trips uh, allow you to fabricate everything and definitely reduce any uh, field welding or cutting that you may have to do. Um, you can also reach out to them about how to bring this into SketchUp and design there, which is very easy. Another video we have in this playlist is actually showing you how to do it in CAD. Um, and then we'll have plenty of videos actually showing you how to do this in Revit too. So thanks and have a great day.